He's letting the pressure get to him, and that's a dangerous mistake. And oh, this is the exact same thing, man. There is a tremendous amount of pressure on these superstars. Absolutely. Competing for that starring role could make or break any of them. And I've got to think that Stephanie McMahon won't look too favorably on this task. Maybe, maybe not. I've never understood the whole Hollywood thing myself. Yeah, I'm sure you haven't, King. You know why? Because you can't act, bruh. No, I'm kidding. He was pretty good, you know? He just has to... If he could play himself in, like, a WWE film, like a WWE documentary, like, he would be... He would just have to sit there and, like, make some stupid dad joke or yell puppies. Bro, I'll beat your ass. I don't give a fuck. Stop calling me mediocre. Buddies play the blame game. And what was billed as a one-on-one -on -one match between Jeff Hardy and Johnny Nitro? Nitro has decided to blame uh, that the blame for his loss fell squarely on the shoulders of one man, Carlito. He said he had my back, then he let me down. Nitro explained, I don't know if I ever intended, if he ever intended to help me out. I trusted that guy to be there where I needed him, and look what happened. Carlito disputes this version of the events, however. Is Nitro serious? Does he really think I'd stoop so low as to turn my back on my own partner after the past few weeks? That's really not cool. And what's next for Carlito? I want a piece of Jeff Hardy this week, and I promise you, I don't need Nitro to get in my way. Guys, there's enough of your boy to go around. Alright. I'll beat all of you up. I'll beat all your asses. Don't think I won't. Because I will. Alright. Uh, we'll do pain management again. Uh, we will do another thing of pain management. And then we will do... Uh, do we have anything on here? No, we don't. Let's check my uh, info real quick. 26, 21, 15, 8. Endurance training. So endurance and my popularity shit needs to go up. Where's... There it is. Close my eyes. Uh, watch your game face. I just heard about the big challenge. Very dramatic. We'll definitely have our eyes on the winner of this one. But your challenger was right about one thing. If you were to suffer a disfiguring injury, your acting career might be over before it gets off the ground. Listen, Steph, alright, stop emailing me directly. Contact Coach and let him talk to me. I don't want to deal with your selfish ass. Alright, you don't put nobody over. Fuck you. Carlito demands blood. You know, I thought Jeff Hardy would get the hint after a while and just go away. I thought he'd realize he's out of his league, but if I have to rough him up to make my point, that's what I'll do. Those are tough words, and, and the look in Carlito's eyes shows that he means business. When he says them, I'm calling out that piece of trash Jeff Hardy for a first blood match. I'm going to mess that wannabe pretty boy's face up so bad WWE Films isn't going to give him a second thought. They won't want him by the time I'm done with him. And someone to tell Jeff Hardy that I'm fighting alone. Nitro isn't coming... Uh, to the ring with me, so I don't want to see Jeff Hardy bringing Piper with him either. Alright, bro, let's go. I'll beat your ass, bro. I don't care how cool you were. Uh, coach, lay it all on the line. I'm sure you read the Carlito, Carlito, <laughs> Carlito challenge to your first blood match, so I scheduled it as the main event of Raw. I'm expecting you to deliver big for the brand, so you can't make me look bad. Speaking of which, if you lose, you might literally be the one looking bad, and that's gonna not going to help your cause any... Shut up, dude. Leave me alone. I'll get a restraining order on you. You don't leave me alone. Alright. Jeff Hardy. Brother Nero versus Carlito. Body Guy Lito. I think that's his Twitter or something. Oh, this one where, where I'm talking to Coach and he's acting all nice and then when, when Vince is done, he's like... Yelling at Jeff. In raw That's right. A first blood match between two of our aspiring movie stars. Whoever wins will most certainly elevate themselves 
in the eyes of the fans. And whoever loses might lose his shot at the WWE Films role if he gets beat up bad enough. <laughs> these, some of these don't make sense, man. <laughs> Carlito's just there, like, what? <laughs> oh, man. Some of these just don't make no sense. Excuse you, King? King, get in the ring with me right now, I'll whoop your ass. 100%. Don't try me. He try me, bitch. This match in order to, as he put it, mess up his rival's pretty face. I know that kind of talk makes you squeamish, JR, but you can't argue with the fact that it's a solid strategy. Nobody's gonna cast a leading man whose face looks like hamburger. Oh, man. This is gonna be a good one. I'm gonna beat his ass. That's what's gonna happen. Was that John SmackDown in 2007? Really? I don't remember that. Oh, actually, no, he would have because he had his rivalry with uh, Batista. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. This is uh, First Blood, right? So no DQ? Yep. Alright, cool. <laughs> Not wasting any time, bro. I'm whooping your ass. Straight up. One hey, what what it do? Get up. Bitch. Get up. Get up. Get up. Superstars are beating the heck out of each other, and this crowd can't get, get enough of it. It's what they paid to see, King. Get, and they're come getting on. their money's worth tonight. They sure are, JR. There's no question these superstars you are mother He countered that and piece made of it garbage. Look what a reversal. Damn it, Carlito, you need to calm your ass down, alright? I fool. You got This ain't cool right now. What you doing right now? This ain't cool. You know what's cool? Fuck. You know what? Hold up. There. That's cool. Could you be any more biased, JR? How about some fair and balanced commentary? Damn it, Kurt. Listen, body guy. Body guy Lito. Come on, bro. There you go. All right, give me, uh, can you grab stuff from the crowd in this one? I guess somebody gonna offer me, like, their drink? I can, or does that have to be in Extreme Rules? I think it has to be Extreme Rules. Bro, can you, can you calm down? Can you? I got him. <laughs> I literally hit him with, like, four chair shots to the head, and I won. <laughs> oh, that's too easy, man. That's too easy. I'm whooping some ass today. <laughs> He's not even bleeding, though. It's not a WWE career ending injury, but it might be a movie career ending injury. And his opponent is showing absolutely no remorse. Why would I show remorse? He asked for the match. Whoever thought that a movie contract would bring out such viciousness. Dude, I'm getting paid 10k a week as a wrestler, alright? I'm making peanuts. Your boy Jeff Hardy's getting screwed. He needs that movie money. Brother Nero needs that movie money, you know what I'm saying? Uh, oops, sorry.
I I didn't need you last week. Just a heads up, Stephanie. Uh, Stephanie, Steph, Steph. Oh, if I could learn how to speak English. <laughs> Stephanie and I are finalizing plans for vengeance. And this week after your match on Raw, I'm going to be making an announcement about how you, Nitro, and Carlito will be involved with the show. Keep in mind this is the last chance you're going to have to get your hands on these two, those two before the pay-per-view, so you might want to take advantage while you can. Is it going to be a triple threat? I don't know what the lyrics are to that. Hopefully it doesn't get me copyright though. That would um that would suck. We'll do another one on fan favorite. And we'll do this one on uh, fan heat <clears throat> to balance it out. And then this one we'll do on microphone again because It'd be nice to get my microphone skills up. Nitro and I agree on one thing. I hope you're not thinking that we're going to be an easy win. Just because we're not on the same page lately. Maybe I'm not too crazy about my partner right now. But I hate your ass. <laughs> okay, sure man. No problem, Johnny. No problem, Johnny Nitro. Tag Team Showdown for Tinsel Town. Raw General Manager uh, John Coachman has announced that this week's main event will feature a tag team match between the team of Jeff Hardy and Roddy Piper and the team of Carlito and Nitro. Uh, this thing's been brewing for so long, I'm giving, I'm even giving coffee the jitters. Piper exclaimed in a legendary hot rod fashion. If people want to fight, they're going to get a fight. Uh, though Nitro and Carlito may not be on the best of terms with each other these days, they feel their best work is still to come. This is a match between us two rising superstars and them uh, has been and it never was, says Carlito. They think they can beat us and never going to happen, period. After all this show's business and we're the biggest stars around. You better be careful with what you're saying. Uh, you'll break the camera soon. I know you can't be at 100% after a match. I beat your ass. You didn't touch me. But he didn't do any damage to me last week. Like, I beat his ass. I just want to wish you luck before your match, even though you're on opposite sides. I have to thank you, Nitro and Carlito, for the interest you've managed to generate throughout the WWE and Hollywood. Any one of you would be a great leading man for the movie and all of the controversy surrounding the three of you is already jump-starting the movie's promotion. Stephanie McMahon. When am I going to get a new locker room, man? Because I'm pretty sure, like, with the, with the more legend progress you get, you get better locker rooms. Yeah, I think that's how it works. Where am I? Where the... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where the, the, hold up, hold up, hold up. We're main eventing over a great match. It's JTG versus Great Khali. Are you kidding me right now? Okay, HBK versus Randy is an actual good match. So is Melina and Mickey. But, like, HBK and Randy Orton, like, holy... Melina was okay, wasn't she? Uh, you can be a computer, Roddy. Basically, I'm going to whip some ass. I'm going to tag you in. I'm going to go after whoever's out on the side. And then you're going to whoop his ass Vengeance until we win. Is this, Sunday. Mm. this is good old JR Jim Ross. Here with Jerry the King Lawler at ringside. Ah. And we've got some tag team action for you tonight. Okay. That's right. I don't know who these guys hate worse. Their opponents or each other. This is their last chance to face each other before this Sunday's pay-per-view. True. Fasten your seatbelt, JR. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. I mean, it doesn't matter how bumpy it is of a ride. I'm gonna win. Your boy's coming out on top. Brother Nero is coming out on top. 